I played in the NBA for 11 years, uh, 10 strong, but 11. Um, I was a five-time NBA All-Star. I was a uh, four-time NBA All-Pro, either first or second team. Uh, my career averages were 20 points, 11 rebounds, and almost five assists a game. Uh, my field goal percentage for that 11-year uh, career was 53%. Uh, free throw percentage average about 75 percent, but um, you know, the stats rank pretty highly in terms of uh, when you compare them to some of the greatest players that ever played the game. They're not at the top, they're not at the bottom, but they'd be in the upper 80 percent in terms of where they'd rank. The main thing that I like about James is the fact that he has a sensitivity to these kids Again, it's a delicate balance, knowing when to push and pride, knowing when to pat on the back and encourage. And when I say push and pride, I've never seen him yell at a kid, raise his voice at a kid. He's been nothing but positive and encouraging, and kids can mess up a routine dribble or a routine move 10 times in a row, 10 times in a row. He'll give a pat on the back, give him some encouragement, instruct him, correct him where it needs to be. So when I, you know, when I put all those things together, what I understand about James is that he's got this natural gift of working with young people, he's got uh, again the sensitivity, and, and you know I, I kind of chalked it up to the fact that he and my son Cyrus were born on the same day, July 12th. And both these kind of sensitive cancers, but 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 it's a good mix. But not only does it pertain to Cyrus, but I've seen it with all the kids he works with. But it's been a real pleasure and a joy to to to, to be able to have a guy like that be in my son's life. You know, one of the best barometers to evaluate just how effective a trainer is, 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 to, is to watch a kid's development over the course of time. And I watched James work with this young kid by the name of Max, who, you know, starting out was a pretty decent basketball player. He wasn't just a, you know, a total, totally bereft of any skills, but, but to watch where he started out five or six years ago to where he is now, you could see the, uh, the impact that James has had on his skill level, his ball handling, his shooting. And more importantly, his confidence. And see, that's the thing that, that I'm looking for, especially with my son Cyrus as a 12-year-old, sensitive kid, uncertain about his skills, long, lanky, awkward body. This is a time now for him to be instilled with that kind of confidence that he can, you know, he can put his mind to it, he can do it. And I've seen Max, and, 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 and at the beginning, him struggle with some of the drills and some of the skill work. But his development over these last six years has really been a testament to, to James' commitment to, to making Max a better player and, and a better person in the process. Well, my son Joshua, who James worked with uh, about six years ago, between the ages of seven and 11, he had leukemia and a real, real serious bout with leukemia. So he did nothing athletically for about four years. So he picked up weight a lot of body fat, and his confidence overall as an athlete um, was really, really low. And so I had to be real uh, sensitive or, or in terms of, of, of who I selected to work with him. It had to be somebody who had, who had a sensitivity and an and, 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 and approach that would not stifle Josh's self-confidence by berating him and, and talking down and talking negati negatively to him, pointing out all his bad points. And the one thing that uh, you know, I remember, remember vividly about James was the encouragement that he was able to provide for Joshua during the course of the drills. But uh, obviously in a case like that, I mean, it, it supersedes just athletics and sport. I mean, he's building his confidence and self-esteem as a person. And for a young kid who has been through uh, the leukemia battle that he went through, I thought that that was a real important time period for him to get the most positive reinforcement he could get.